आज शाम के इस लाइव प्रोग्राम में आप सभी का स्वागत है आज शाम का ये लाइव प्रोग्राम हम कर रहे हैं बियॉन्ड शुगर चैनल के ऊपर और मैं हूं आपका होस्ट संजीव मेहरा एज यू ऑल नो बियॉन्ड शुगर इज क्रिएटेड अलोंग विद आर एस एस डी आई विच इज द एपेक्स बॉडी ऑफ डायबिटोलॉजिस्ट इन इंडिया एंड द होल पर्पज एंड एम ऑफ बियॉन्ड शुगर इज कि आप तक साइंटिफिकली रिलायबल और सटीक जानकारियां पहुंच सके डायबिटीज के मैनेजमेंट के बारे में और डायबिटीज से रिलेटेड जो कॉम्प्लिकेशन है उसके बारे में और इसी सिलसिले में हम आपके साथ रोज डेली uh, बेसिस के ऊपर जानकारियां पोस्ट करते हैं विच इज इन इजी लैंग्वेज ताकि आप सब उसको ठीक से समझ सके और इसी के साथ साथ हम इनवाइट करते हैं देश के जाने माने डॉक्टर्स को जो आपसे सीधे बात कर सके इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स के ऊपर और आपके सवालों के जवाब दे सके आज इसी कड़ी में आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू वेलकम डॉक्टर विजय अरोड़ा फ्रॉम डेली सर स्वागत है आपका थैंक यू संजीव थैंक यू वेरी मच आज हम बात करेंगे एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक के ऊपर विच इज आप सब जानते हैं कि एटलीस्ट इन नॉर्थ इंडिया एंड साउथ इंडिया समर्स आर ऑन द वे और गर्मी आने वाली है और इस बार वर्ल्ड डायबिटीज डे का जो थीम है दैट इज अबाउट यू नो एजुकेटिंग योर सेल्फ टू प्रोटेक्ट टूमोरो so isliye it is important that we educate ourselves that how uh, our, today itself so that tomorrow we are well prepared diabetes is also a, you know a long term lifelong medical condition aur jo you know log diabetes ke jinke andar situation hai unko sare mausam aur sab tarah ke situations ke through go through karna padta hai aur aaj hum baat karenge managing diabetes during summer months Uh, which is which which is like a, an impending topic today and uh, and formally welcoming and introducing dr vijay arora to you he is a very well known personality uh, in the city of delhi he has after completing his masters in medicine from post graduate institute of medical sciences rotak for last 3 decades he has been providing his services to his patients he has many publications and awards to his credit and currently dr arora is a senior director and head of internal medicine at max hospitals patpat ganj uh, new delhi sir isse pehle ki hum aage badhe aur sawal lene shuru kare i will welcome you and hand over the stage to you for your opening remarks uh, on this topic uh, thank you sanjeev uh, uh, namaskar doston uh, aaj hum is uh, facebook live mein jiska topic hai beyond diabetes control so we always uh, look forward to changing seasons that the summers are coming and we summers in summers we enjoy this is a fun in the sun usually most of us they enjoy going to beach or outdoor uh, playing and, and sightseeing so people who are diabetic jo sugar ke patient hain unko thodi zyada takleef ho sakti hai on all the four fronts whether it is with diet whether it is with the exercise whether it is by consuming medications or lastly and how to take uh, keep the track of uh, blood sugar so if you see uh, is desh mein especially in the northern india when you find this is the time jab bahut zyada heat hogi temperature may go up to 50 degrees especially in certain part of rajasthan and uh, in uh, western haryana and punjab you will find uh, the people especially who are diabetics they are already compromised and these are the people who may be exposed to different uh, category of uh, uh, heat related stresses it may be heat cramps it may be heat rash it may be uh, heat exhaustion or it may be heat stroke which is the worst type of uh, heat related illness and if you see is simple because uh, the sweating is little increase in a certain part of the country with the ex- extreme of weather and whenever the extreme of weather the skin diseases which are common in people who are diabetes they are develop usually fungal infections so aim is to avoid these infections to avoid the heat, this type of heat rash and if you are playing outside uh, uh, games then because of the intense uh, exercise you may develop a dehydration which worsens uh, your glucose levels 
and simultaneously if uh, the higher glucose level will increase uh, give rise to increase uh, urination then further it causes dehydration and this dehydration will increase blood sugar and this vicious cycle of uh, increased blood sugar increased urination and increased uh, dehydration will continue and ultimately you are down in the hospital with a severe heat stroke and dehydration so the aim of this meeting today is how to prevent these type of heat related illnesses especially in patients who are diabetic and diabetes means these are the people who are having their nerve ending damage because of the prolonged diabetes whether it is type 1 diabetes or whether it is type 2 diabetes these are the people who cannot sweat properly because of the damage to the sweat gland because of the neuropathy their sweating is not proper and they retain more heat especially in type 2 diabetes where more than two third uh, type 2 diabetics are obese and these are the people who are the obese people they retain more heat and they are the people who are um, liable to develop um, high prevalence of developing this uh, heat stroke like illness especially when exposure to uh, heat is there or intense exercise there to jab bhi hame koi hamare ghar mein diabetic patient hai ya hum khud hain especially is mausam mein जब हम नॉर्थ इंडिया में रहते हैं जहाँ इतना एक्सट्रीम ऑफ टेम्परेचर होता है हमारी बॉडी उसको अडॉप्ट नहीं कर सकती अडोप्टेबिलिटी इज वेरी असेंशियल सो वेन एवर वी आर डीलिंग विद सच टाइप ऑफ पीपल वी शुड बी एक्स्ट्रा कॉशियस एंड वी शुड बी टेलिंग द पीपल दैट ऑलवेज कीप ए बॉटल ऑफ वाटर विद यू सो दैट यू शुड नॉट गेट डिहाइड्रेटेड दिस इज द टाइम विद ऑलवेज keep a bottle of water with you and keep your do not drink water in a single go so you have taken one it no keep drinking water slowly a sip sip water and try to be in a cooler places because your body cannot tolerate so much of heat okay. so uh, we will discuss certain points which sanjeev will ask a few questions which are related to this type of uh, weather over to you sanjeev thank you uh, dr roda for your opening remarks on this and i think you tried to cover you know the whole ambit what a diabetes uh, patient may go through in the summer months and as you very rightly mentioned i think today is the time when we discuss this that how to prevent this also and yes. just in case if someone you know goes through this situation then how to manage uh, this situation as well sir kuch sawal uh, main dekh raha hu platform ke upar pehle se the beyond sugar ke upar aur kafi log janna chahte hain is bare mein ki kya summer heat ki wajah se extreme heat ki wajah se is there a chance that the blood sugar levels itself they will go up in a person with diabetes yes the whenever the person is exposed to heat whether it is extreme of heat uh, i will not talk about heat rash or cramps which are very common in uh, this environment but the people who are exposed to high heat they, they develop heat exhaustion and we should identify certain features where the if a patient the first thing if you are not able to identify what the patient is going through then we will not be able to give a proper treatment so any patient who is having a little higher temperature than the normal which is having breathlessness the people who are having fast uh, pulse rate or who are body is uh, looking pale or clammy skin is uh, there and who is, who is having profuse perspiration so these are the people you should be targeting that they should be in a state of uh, heat exhaustion and they should not go into heat stroke or further damage their body or develop the complications of diabetes so the first is inappropriate loss of uh, salt and water because of uh, deformed uh, sweat glands because the uh, the nerve supply to these glands is uh, damaged so the aim is especially in long standing type 2 diabetes where these type of illness is there they are the people we should be more careful and they should be taught that they should avoid going to the heat especially uh, especially in the afternoon and they should keep cover their uh, body uh, with their uh, cool cool place uh, cool cold cloth so that they are not exposed to the temperature and even if they are exposed they should remove it immediately to the place which is cool and uh, we should give them a um, uh, cold cool bath or something like that and plenty of oral fluid is uh, given to such people uh-huh. 
especially in diabetics when you develop this type of uh, illness and inappropriate treatment also matters and most of the time when patients are type 1 diabetics and their instruments especially the insulin pump or the insulin uh, they are taking whether this has been placed or stored in an appropriate manner uh, so that it is not disintegrated suppose a patient is keeping the um, going for a uh, holiday and keeping insulin in the car at a temperature of 45 or 50 degree then it may not be effective and for you you are taking adequate dose of insulin but patient is uh, not getting appropriate dose of insulin and these are the people who will develop this type of complication and certainly land in hyperglycemia he per se also causes hyperglycemia mm. so we oh. should be careful because in certain heat there are few people who do not go outside at all and they are bound to the indoor indoor activity but they can, because of the uh, incoherent food habits they will increase their blood sugar level and then inappropriate blood sugar testing will also uh, help raising the blood sugar levels hyperglycemia is seen in all patients who are having and um, diabetes special men or whenever they are exposed to heat ji sir uh, thank you very much you know for highlighting this point that that extreme heat can lead to higher blood sugar and you explained that you know which are the various methods and reasons why this may happen aur aapne sir ye bhi importantly bataya ki it is important to identify also that you know a patient is going through this so that care can be taken so now you know when you come about identifying these things so do you guide your patients in summer months about monitoring also so generally patients hain hafte mein ek ya do bar ya jinki blood sugar zyada thoda sa kharab hai wo din mein ek aad bar kisi time par check karte hain so summer months mein sir blood sugar monitoring ke upar aapki kya guidance hoti hai aapke patients ko uh, wo bataye especially the children who are going to the school or the people who are working outside and they have to go to their jobs and whenever they are exposed to heat they should increase the frequency of checking and secondly uh, whenever they are monitoring their uh, glucose level they should check the instrument also because in the if you do not uh, keep the strips in the appropriate temperature which have written on the uh, strip box that keep it in a cool place and don't um, especially and whenever there is uh, uh, increased humidity and if you keep the bottle open then the uh, efficacy of these strips is also gone so if, if you are checking daily whether you are checking properly or whether you are using appropriate strip or whether your instrument if you are keeping your instrument in a high temperature say 50 degree whether these their sensors they are working properly or not so they also matters so very very important uh, adequate checking pro- appropriate checking using appropriate strip and also instruments मॉनिटर so basically you know this should be kept at room temperature and room temperature definition is less than 28 degrees so please keep it in you know some drawer uh, or a cool and dry place your your blood testing machine don't keep it in you know open or you know above the fridge or or these kind of places otherwise it may not work properly and the strips also have to be glucose strips between 2 to 8 degrees you can keep it in your refrigerator door uh, uh, itself so thank you very much for highlighting this very very important thing uh, uh, you know for for the patients how about sir now uh, the dietary part uh, in summers you know it becomes a very very important pillar in in managing you know diabetes for anyone and especially you know if you can suggest kyunki garmiyon mein sir there are a lot of fruits you know which will come and especially north india so people are you know they'll have access to mangoes and a lot of other you know uh, things uh, if you are going out so a lot of energy drinks you know you will uh, you tend to drink to safeguard yourself from heat so what's your guidance on these things ji uh, i know but it is very tempting but at the same times the if you see the complications which are happening in patients who are diabetic in the extremes of the temperature then it is very very alarming sometimes and we guide every time the patient comes that uh, 
this temptation will lead to uh, hospitalization so please avoid this temptation so we should avoid the sugary sweetened drinks that is we should avoid all these sugary sweetened drinks uh, especially uh, consuming a lot of trans fat um, or fried medications and um, lot of chips and cakes pastries and these type of drinks usually should be avoided in so even the dry fruits the fruit juices the sweetened fruits and they all should be avoided especially the, when you use yogurt with the sweetened yogurt or if you are uh, uh, pasta or white bread or anything which is having high glycemic index especially in all diabetics whether uh, they are exposed to heat or not all diabetics should avoid all these uh, things which are high in glycemic and we should prefer uh, using the whole grain or the brown rice or the oat uh, oatmeal or the quinoa or the millet or the baked sweet potatoes these are the things we should prefer and to keep our cell cool the water is the best source if for hydration try not to take sugary drink at all and also people take lot and uh, to keep themselves cool a uh, lot of alcohol uh, consumption is increased in this time of uh, uh, season where the people are taking beer and uh, which is not very good uh, for any patients who are diabetics especially the people who are working outside and they were whenever they are exposed to heat alcohol itself causes damage both to the liver and increases the blood sugar level and uh, whenever you are consuming alcohol there is inappropriate eating also and whenever you take so much of food and you don't bother about the uh, calories which you are taking so everything worsens your diabetes we should be more careful um, about taking this type of uh, tempting foods sir uh, very very importantly said by you uh, please also sir suggest our viewers that which kind of you know drinks like you know non sugary drinks sugary drinks you said completely avoid which are the fruits which kind of you know drinks can be easily taken by you know person with diabetes in in summer months so, uh, we we can have uh, लस्सी छाछ पीना बहुत अच्छी बात है और हमारे पूर्वज जो पीते हैं एटलीस्ट डायल्यूटेड लस्सी एंड छाछ दीज आर द थिंग्स इफ दे आर नॉट स्वीट एंड स्पेशली इफ यू आर ऑन लो सॉल्ट डाइट स्पेशली मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आफ्टर फाइव टू सेवन ईयर ऑफ डायबिटीज दे आल्सो डेवलप हाइपरटेंशन एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दिस हाइपरटेंशन दे हैव बीन आस्क नॉट टू टेक सॉल्ट और टेक लेसर सॉल्ट सो दीज आर द पीपल हु आर स्वेटिंग लॉट एंड कंज्यूमिंग लेस सॉल्ट these are the people who can develop complications this electrolemia so if they are consuming lesser salt and having profuse sweating and exposed to heat they should take more and more of fluid which are uh, adequate in salt and at its salt intake should be at least in normal people it should be 2.5 g per day but in the people who are uh, low salt diet or who are exposed to heat and having profuse sweating their salt intake should be increased and this that should be monitored adequately plain water and the people who should have if you want to have drinks you can add uh, uh, sweeteners and that is better rather than to have uh, sugary sweets all right and and what about sir fruits like you know is mausam mein aisa mana aisa kaha jata hai doctor ki we just tarboj watermelon wagera aate hain high on fiber yeah. there is big no for all this uh, fruits which uh, with high glycemic index whether it is mango or whatever you say which is available in these type like the uh, watermelon melon these are the things which people enjoy these type of but even if you want to enjoy the your portion size should be very small so that this high glycemic index is not there and you don't uh, raise your blood sugar level very high and if you are taking adequate uh, insulin or oral anti diabetic agents uh, you should check frequently that you are not taking inappropriate high uh, glycemic index fruits so we should avoid these fruits and take uh, only those which are having less uh, glycemic index 
all right i think sir uh, as of now uh, to my viewers uh, uh, they they have you know heard dr roda saying talking about two important pillars of diabetes management he talked about monitoring that how you should be doing monitoring what should be the frequency and how to you know keep the instruments he talked about the diet and drinks that what you should take and what you what you should avoid as well sir let's come on to the you know the third part uh, on the exercises as well now uh, most of the diabetic patients they develop you know habits of walking exercising and which can lead to you know sweating in in summer months so any advice which you uh, give to the patients that what they should follow yes sanjay yeah, definitely yeah, it's a very good question and we uh, if you think if you overall diabetes management if you think diet minimum the role played by the diet is 25% of the total management is by the diet 25% is exercise and 50% of the time it is the medication but people think it is all medication and nothing uh, if you are not doing exercise if you are not following the dietary plan, uh, plans then only medication is not going to help us so if you are doing exercise we should go for exercise especially in the morning or not during the uh, day time especially between uh, after 9 pm 9 am we should avoid going outside and if you want to go for a walk is better you know, between 6 to 8 and space uh, same is with the evening 6 to 8 uh, so that you are not exposed to heat and you don't sweat intense intensive exercises they are not recommended to any diabetic patients intensive they should do exercise in a moderation and if they are having uh, profuse sweating or cramps they should stop it immediately and then should go to the um, cool place and they to rehydrate themselves and especially the people who are hypertensive again i am stressing that if they are on low sodium salt they should be careful if any patient who develops cramps should not wait for at least any patient who is having cramps and it lasts for more than one month one hour they should not wait at home they should go to the doctor uh, consult them get your electrolyte done and then replace the electrolyte which are needed all and right exercise should be in moderation you should walk at least for 30 to 40 minutes in the morning if you are even doing prefer you should prefer the indoor activity rather than going out and exposing yourself to the heat so if you are doing indoor activity and even doing moderate exercises you are not going to stress your body all right very very important and and you know if if you are going for exercises walk maybe just keep a water bottle as well uh, with you and maybe you know keep on drinking water if you are feeling thirsty or you're getting sweated out uh, sir thank you for highlighting you know important things uh, very very basic and very practical things you know which a patient will go through and he will if he adheres to your advice i'm sure they'll have a, a comfortable uh, time so let's come on to the fourth and the final thing on this uh, which you said about the medicines now there are tablets various kind of tablets which a patients may be taking or insulin doses you know which patients many patients will be taking so what's your guidance there is there any kind of medicine which you stop or start during the summer months and and also guide us at how do you know patients who are taking insulins they should you know uh, take care of the insulins uh, for effective uh, you know proper usage Sanjeev, uh... Uh, rightly said, but there are certain medications which increase the effects of temperature on the body, and we should be very careful. We should be. Uh, there are certain medication will which increase your urine flow, and there are another other medications also which are uh, which uh, they are not anti-diabetic, but other medications for hypertension or for other diseases. They are also having impact on the body. So we we should not keep medication at direct heat or in the car or exposed to temperature which is about 25 degree whether it is a tablet capsule syrup or any insulin so we'll try to maintain a temperature for insulins uh, uh, preferably less than eight degrees uh, celsius and we should we should not freeze the insulin number one and we should not keep the insulin directly on the ice and whenever you are uh, going somewhere and don't put it in the ice or the directly on the um, pack, the cold pack, and we should be uh, wrapped with the polythene, and then it should be kept in the uh, ice box or whatever. When, and the second is, if you are uh, taking adequate medication, and if you are checking uh, regularly, and if you are maintaining a good glucose control, you are not going to develop any complication. <coughs> but if you have developed dehydration, the first thing is you must 
take advice of your uh, consultant or the doctor which you are consulting and check yourself frequently and the medications which are uh, unnecessarily being taken whether it is uh, some uh, allo, uh, ayurvedic or homeopathic they should be avoided which uh, the, com the combination or mechanism of action which we do not know and this oral medications which we are taking uh, they should be uh, their uh, efficacy to be checked uh, regularly uh, by checking our hb one level it should be maintained less than seven as per insulin is concerned maintain temperature less than eight and uh, secondly when you are taking uh, pre-mixed insulin you should at least uh, 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 properly shake uh, at least three four times uh, on a horizontal panel so that it is mixed properly and it is given adequately all right i think uh, again very important uh, practical tips covered by dr roda and, and especially you know those patients who are on insulins so you know don't keep it in uh, places like a car dashboard uh, because they will become very very hot and then your insulin will lose the efficiency so you may be thinking that you are taking insulin dose but it may not have any impact on reducing your blood sugar levels so carry maybe you know for the summer months buy the cool packs with you they are easily available at any chemist shop it can be frozen at night and it will you know keep your insulin cold for good 10 to 12 hours so uh, so i think again advice sir uh, one thing you mentioned in an opening remarks and i will you know take this as a final question as we're running out of time so you said that diabetic patients especially you know in the uh, summer months because of you know, uh, sweating or rashing. So there, there is a possibility of developing fungal infections or rashes. So how, how, what is the advice? What should a person do to manage such a situations to avoid it? And if it happens, then how to manage it? And the rashes should be uh, taken care of because once these rashes develop, and if you develop uh, uh, some ulcerations or some type of laps or uh, papular rash, then it will become uh, more uh, difficult for to you to treat this type of illness and, and there may be a secondary infection in these wounds and then there will be further worsening of the blood sugar level. So if the rash is there, arrest it at the rash level, don't make it uh, to the wound level and just uh, keep it dry and uh, uh, some uh, powders uh, to be sprinkled over this so that there, these blebs are not formed and these uh, Macular papular ashes they go away, and then dryness is the only thing which should be keep, and uh, we should sit in the cold places. Okay, so so I think it's a, it's a very comprehensively Dr. Vijayroda has has covered this topic today. Uh, he has uh, been very kind to answer each and every you know aspect of managing diabetes in the summer months. Uh, so with this, we come towards the culmination of this program, as I think we have covered the larger aspects of uh, this situation. And in the end, I will once again hand it. Uh, back to Dr. Vijay Roda for his uh, final comments uh, in case he wants to give any summary or in case we have missed anything important which he still wants to cover. Sir, over to you once again for the closing remarks. My advice to all diabetic is do not go out and develop any heat stroke like illness because it is very difficult. And you know, Hydration is the only thing which needs to be kept all the way to prevent uh, further progression of the disease. Hydrate yourself, keep a water bottle with you, do only indoor activity, keep a check on your diet, do regular exercise, preferably indoor activity, take appropriate diet, take appropriate exercise and take the medications at your particular time and lastly, always and always increase the frequency of checking your blood sugar level, especially in the months, especially in the changing seasons, whenever you are exposed to certain type of uh, different temperatures. So our body, especially diabetic patients, they are difficult. And whenever their neuropathies have developed, they are not able to lose uh, temperature. Their uh, vasodilatory mechanisms are not proper. So these are the people who develop complications, uh, especially who have peripheral arterial disease or peripheral vascular disease and peripheral neuropathies. These are the people who are more prone to develop uh, these type of diabetic complications. My request to all diabetics is 
do not expose yourself to the heat or this uh, extreme of temperature avoid intense exercises stay indoor do indoor activity and maintain your health very nice all right uh, so with this we come to the conclusion of this program uh, very few times when you go to your doctors uh, for a routine checkup regarding your diabetes or other things you may not you know get so much of time from your physicians because they are very very busy but i think today dr aroda has been very kind to elaborately explain each and every point related to this topic so i hope our viewers will be wiser today on this subject any person you know in your social circles in your friend circle in your family who is having diabetes and you know who where you think that this advice can be useful to him you can simply share the link of this program with them so that you know they also have the required information on how to manage diabetes in the summer months uh, with this i will thank all my viewers who joined us uh, live today and all those who may just be watching this program later on as well as this will remain on this facebook page and with this i will also thank dr vijay roda to join us uh, today to talk about uh, this topic to our viewers and he really explained each and everything in such a detail even the minute parts he has uh, taken care to explain to our patients thank you dr roda thank you thank you very much thank you thank you bye bye good night from all of us